following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Oh, what up, guys? It's your boy, Captain Hype, Mr. 3700, and we're here to talk about some NBA 2K17 ideas, because NBA 2K16 is already upon us. Stuff's not going to be changed. So, I just want to bring up quickly four or five ideas that I feel like would be fantastic for NBA 2K17. Number one, you got to find some way to have a better balance of an online and offline experience feel exactly the same. I am the type of person, when I shoot the ball with a player, I go by a feeling. I don't even look at the shot meter because I've used that person so much. There's so many times when you play online where you don't get green where you're used to getting green. So I would like to kind of see that improve a little bit um, just on my end. I feel like that experience as a whole would make the mode more enjoyable. Also, a quick sell MT pack. So how awesome would it be if you had to put in 10 random gold players five silver players and four bronze players right and in that you get a random mt quick sell pack that goes from anywhere from 10k to 1 million mt how awesome would that be to have in this game be an awesome way for you know if you're gonna pull packs at least you can throw those players into that quick sell mt pack for one and then maybe have a chance to get 1 million mt to buy a card of your choosing um another one another one Another one. Sorry, every time someone says that I want to say it. But anyway, um, another idea would be to lower the time limits for domination games to anywhere from three to four minutes. Uh, I play all the challenges for Kareem so far. I enjoy those games. Sometimes they're fun, sometimes they're not. Um, sometimes they're challenging, but I just feel like six minutes is an extremely long time to play a game against a computer. I'm not saying it has to be as short as two minutes, but three to four minutes would be perfect. Still have a challenge within that game. Also, no more MT, um, like minimum that you have to gain in that historic and domination. If you want to do that, do that for a boss battle every 10 or so games in domination or historic domination. So, you know, maybe the first five games is whatever, but then later on, you have to play the Golden State Warriors in a six minute game on Hall of Fame, right? That's something I feel like would help um, strengthen the mode and have people play a little bit more. Um, my team leaderboards for sure. I think that's an excellent idea. I know Big C, Richie, and Cash have talked about that for a very long time. I think leaderboards for my team would be fantastic. You could even do by challenges. You could even do MT earned within the game. Um, then you could also just do online play through Road to Playoffs. Road to Playoffs. So, imagine if your season was anywhere from 40 to 50 games. Based on your record that you do, that gets you your reward. So let's say you went 50 out of 50 games. Guaranteed Amethyst player, right? A random Amethyst player in a pack. 40 games, gold players, so on and so on. So then from there, you enter the playoffs. Playoffs would be fantastic. Seven games, you have to win four out of seven games against random opponents, and if you win through four rounds, you win a championship. What's that championship? It's a random ultimate pack. Similar to what Shake was saying, however, this ultimate pack contains diamonds, so maybe you could get a diamond player, or you could get a fantasy um, diamond or amethyst player. So my idea for the fantasy amethyst or whatever player would be is this card would boost any card that you have in your disposal to an amethyst card. So imagine if I had like Simbular who was a huge center that everyone loved, right? And the beginning of the year for my team. With this boost that I could give him, it turned him into a 91 overall amethyst card for Simbular. I feel like it's a great reward for a championship. Um, I feel like it would make the game very creative and fun, and that way you're not worried about people having the same teams because I now get to pick what type of amethyst player I want. However, just make sure stuff doesn't get crazy. Um, we could limit that and maybe change different type of rewards that are in there every time. But um, maybe have diamond players in that pack, the amethyst booster in that pack, or gold booster as well. Of course, random uh, amethyst and diamond players. Just a quick idea, so I, that's the one I'm really excited about, so let me know um, what you guys think about that um, in that. So, also think restrictions should come back for positions. If you want to put LeBron at point, I think his stats should go down in certain areas. And, and the same if you put KD at center, like his rebounding should go down from what it is, or his defense in the post should go down from what it is, maybe his block shot, because that's a position he doesn't really play. Um, I think restrictions will help. Um, two awesome uh, ideas I have. So for diamond players, how would it cool, how cool would it be if you got um, a 
consistency throughout the year. Let's say when Jordan, like it's the anniversary when Jordan got drafted, right? Let's say it's for 24 hours, rookie Jordan is in NBA packs. So you take that rookie Jordan, and instead of having to worry about selling him or keeping him or trying to make value off of him, right? How about keeping that card and throughout the year, you get boosts or moment boosts that could help turn that Jordan to a diamond Jordan sometime later in the year. So have those challenges be throughout the entire Monty mode. So example for Jordan, right? One time, um, Jordan posted a triple double in a playoff game. So maybe you have to post a triple double in a game of my team, right? With Michael Jordan to get a special boost that will make maybe turn him into like a gold or maybe turn him into like an 89 overall. Um, and then another one would be maybe you have to win six championships in road to playoffs, right? That's to give you another boost and make him into a diamond. Then imagine how would it cool to be to earn a diamond player as it goes along. Same with Larry Bird, getting a, um, a Larry Bird and then having to go through different tasks throughout the year or maybe even weekend tournaments where you get a collectible piece similar to a Madden set and put it in and that way it turns into a diamond Larry Bird. I feel like that would be awesome and fantastic. The black market should stay. I love the idea of runes. I think the black market has a lot of uh, potential have different stuff in there, a lot of fantasy players in there, and maybe even have dynamics be in there, but similar to what Kuda was saying, having a lock dynamic. So imagine like when Boogie was an Amethyst, right? So imagine going into the black market and for 100K, you can buy an Amethyst Boogie because he was this week's player of the month or, or this week's NBA player of the week or the player of the month. So that way we constantly know stuff's going to be changing in the black market either weekly or monthly. So, um, for example, imagine being in there and getting a diamond Luke Walton coach, right? That gives you a plus 10 rebounding or plus 10 three-point shot for your entire team. How insane would that be for a diamond coach? Say 100K plus 10. I feel like that'd be a fantastic idea as well. Um, weekend tournaments is something that I miss. I wish that would come back. Um, and then lastly, uh, wager matches, of course. I would like to see wager matches uh, come back, maybe even have some type of system um, to where it's earned after winning so many playoff games. Um, maybe something where you could bet 100K, 200K. Um, I think this type of thing would be really fun. And if you don't like wager matches with MT, being able to wager cards. So I'm going to put up my Diamond MJ that I earned throughout the year for someone else's Diamond LeBron James. Um, but that's just some of the ideas that I have. Hopefully 2K um, will see this and some of the devs. Um, appreciate the hard work you guys do and put out the game. Um, it's a 2K community. We're all passionate. We want the best game possible. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and comment down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Steals. Look at this three-headed beast. Three diamonds in one lineup. Let's take that into the road to playoffs. I got to be the first with three diamonds, right? I think so. So we're going to get early. Look at this squad we got here. It's so ridiculous.